Do you believe in the Bible? That's my first question. Do you believe in the Bible? All right, you believe in the Bible. Very good. But you got questions about it because when you read it, it confuses you a little bit, right? You read things like, in the beginning, let us make man in our image, so on and so forth, right? So history is true. History is true. History is true. History is true depending on who tells it. The biblical history is true. All right, so that's what we're talking about. We got the Bible. This is our book. We're not using any other book right now. All we got is the Bible. So what I'm saying is history is true. All right, because I'm bringing it out the book. All right, so what, 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 what do you need to say? I, if I'm, am I going to talk or are you going to talk? All right, you speak and then I'm going to speak. Go ahead. It's the King James Version of the Bible. It's, hold this for me. It's the King James Version of the Bible. It's the King James Version of the Bible. All right, we're using it. Listen, listen, listen. We're dealing with the King James Version of the Bible, all right? That's what we're dealing with. All right, we, good? we on the same page? We good? We good? Can we can can we move on? Can we move on? Can we move on now? All right. Hold on, hold on. I can only deal with one question at a time. Is that fair? One question at a time. Uh, it's for y'all. It's one of me. You understand? I got I got one reader. That's all I got. All right. So what we gonna do? First Corinthians chapter fourteen, verse forty. Here's what we gonna do. Here's what we gonna do. Cause I wanna answer y'all questions so that y'all can be edified. All right. But if we're going to talk and discuss the Bible, we got to make sure that we conduct ourselves respectfully because so many niggas out here hate each other and we kill each other out here in these streets all the time. You understand? So we don't want to be mistaken for them other brothers that hang out on the block. You know what I'm talking about? The ones that hate themselves, the ones that be selling drugs to each other. You know what I'm talking about? You know who I'm talking about? Yes, you know who I'm talking about. So read what you got. The book of First Corinthians, chapter 14 and verse 40. Let all things. What does the Bible say? Let all things. Know something. Let all things. So the Bible says to let all things, come on. Be done decently. To be done how? Decently. So when people drive by, we want to look like we decent. You understand what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying? My brother right here. What's your name? What's, what's your name, bro? Jim Bobs. Jim Bobs, stay with me. Let's keep let's keep order here. All right, what's your name? Tim. Let's keep order here. Read it again from the top. Listen good to what the Bible said. All right? Hold on, watch this. How many of y'all want to read the Bible? Y'all want to hear the Bible right now? Y'all came over here to hear it. Do you want to hear us teach the Bible? Do you want to hear us teach the Bible right now? Yes, you see? So let's have some respect for Tim. Let's have some respect for Tim. Let's have some respect. You understand? All right, read it again from the top. Let all things be done decently and in order. You, you hear that? That's how we're going to deal. Decently and in order. All right? Now, give me Second Ezra. I'm going to show you something. Give me Second Ezra chapter 2. I believe that's what I want. And I want what God, the creation in Second Ezra. Because you have the creation in Genesis. You have the creation in Second Ezra. All right? I want Second Ezra chapter 2. Uh, might be. Let me see. Chapter three. All right. Uh, read. Start at verse three. Start at verse one. All right. And just read down. Come on. The book of Second Ezra, chapter three and verse one. In the thirtieth year after the ruin of the city, I was in Babylon and laid trouble upon my bed, and my thoughts came up over my heart. This is Ezra. This is a prophet. You understand? He was laying in his bed and the Lord showed him a vision. This vision is what we have recorded right here in what we call today the Bible. All right? This is a collection of writings that we're reading about. Come on. For I saw the desolation of Zion and the wealth of them that dwell at Babylon. And my spirit was so moved so that I began to speak words full of fear to the Most High and said, O oh Lord, who bearest rule? Thou spakest at the beginning. Thou spakest when? At the beginning. Thou spakest when? At the beginning. Genesis, what does that mean, Tim? The word Genesis. What does the word Genesis mean? It means the beginnings. Very good. All right, read on. When thou didst plant the earth, and that thyself alone, and commandest the people. No, 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 no. Read that again. When thou didst plant the earth. When thou didst plant the earth. Come on. 
And that thyself alone. That thyself with somebody else. And that thyself alone. That thyself with the angels. And that thyself alone. That thyself with Christ. And that thyself alone. Do you hear what the Bible said? That thyself alone. What did he do? Come on. And commands the people. He commanded the people. You understand? This was before man was created. Read the next verse. And gave us a body unto Adam. No, what did he do after he commanded the people? And gave us a body unto Adam. Did you hear what we just read? Did you hear what we just read? Yeah, Alright, so what I'm trying to show you is that spirits were created before the flesh was created. That's, That's what I'm trying to show you. So in the heavens, you had spirits that were created with the Most High. Only the righteous ones. And that's who we out here for. The righteous spirits who are back on the earth. That's who we came here to reach. Tim, you might be one of those righteous spirits. Matter of fact, I believe you one of them righteous spirits. Those spirits, that spirit that was created before Adam was given a body. I'm talking about when Adam had a spirit that was still with the Most High, Christ and the angels. When we received all all of God's commandments. You understand? We received when God said he breathed the breath into Adam. You understand? That was him giving him God's laws in the flesh. But what we just read said he commanded the people before he even gave Christ, before he even gave Adam a body. Read it again. And gave us a body unto Adam. He gave us a body unto Adam. Come on. Without soul. Without what? Without soul. Without soul. So guess what? The people were commanded before Christ, before Adam was created from the dust to the ground. Jeez. Because our spirits were with the most high in the heavens. All right? Now go to Genesis chapter 1. These are things. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me finish this point. Then I'll let you speak. I don't want to lose where I'm at. All right? Genesis chapter, Genesis chapter 1. No, no, no. I want verse uh, three. Read what you got. The book of Genesis, chapter one, and verse three. Tim, you listening? You listening? All right, Genesis, we're about to read. We're about to read Genesis chapter one and verse three. Come on. And God said, let there be light. What was that? Let there be light. What happened? What that mean? When he said, let there be light, what's that mean? What hey, very good. What came into existence? These are things you have to think about before you get to verse to chapter two, verse what is it, twenty-four? Before you get there, you gotta read chapter one. You gotta read verse three. Read it again. And excuse me. And God said, Let there be light. Let there be what? Let there be light. Let there be light. Because it was darkness. God said, let there be light. And then there was what? And there was light. And there was what? And there was light. So my question is, what was that light that was created? Hold on, hold on. Tim, what was that light that was created? Wait a minute. It was darkness, so you know that. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you what it was. You got to read the Bible, precept upon precept, line upon line. This is how you get the understanding. It's all right. We're going to help you. You forgot a lot of things, but guess what? We're here to bring this Bible back to your remembrance. That's why we're here, all right? Give me John chapter 8, and I think I want verse 12. I'm going to show you what that light was. I'm going to make it all make sense. When you leave here, Tim, you're not going to have no more excuses. You understand what I'm saying? I'm glad you came up here. Read what you got. The book of John, chapter 8 and verse 12. Come on. Then spake Jesus again unto them. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Tim, 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 pay, pay attention. Listen good. Read what you got. Then spake Jesus. Then spake who? Then spake Jesus. Then spake who? Jesus. Then spake who? Who we talking about? Jesus. Come on. Again unto them saying. He spoke unto his people. He was out teaching. What did he say about himself? Come on. I am the light. I'm what? I am the light. I'm what? I am the light. Did you hear that? So who was the light that was created in Genesis chapter 1 and verse 3? What was when God said, let there be light? What was that? What was created, Tim? What was it? What was created when God said, let there be light? You tell me. Read it again from the top. Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth with me shall not walk in darkness. Now what? Shall not walk in darkness. The light was created out of the what? Out of the darkness. Who are we talking about right here? We talking about Christ. Guess what? In the beginning, before Adam was created, the spirit of Christ existed because it was created before Adam. You understand? The angels were created before Adam. 
You understand? Adam in the flesh. The angels existed before then. All the righteous spirits on the earth that are still here existed before Adam was created in the flesh. That's what we're reading about. So now go to Genesis chapter 2. It all makes sense for you. And then you will come back up. All right? Genesis chapter 2. It all makes sense. Read what you got. The book of Genesis chapter 2. Uh, uh, verse 24. Verse. Yes, sir. Verse 24. Therefore. No, that ain't it. That's not it. You know what I want? Ch try to find. It might be 1 and 28. Which one? Yeah, it's chapter 1. Y'all read that. The book of Genesis chapter 1 and verse 27. Hey, listen good. Here it comes. Come on. So God created man in his own image. God said he created man in his own image, right? Come on. In the image of God created he him. In the image of God created he him. Right? So when Adam was when Adam was created, whose image was he was he created in? Whose image was he created in? When Adam was created. Say it again. He was created in God's image. Now give me the one that say us. You know what I'm talking about? It might it might be the next verse. Yeah, let us make man. That's what that's what he wants, right? That's what that's what you want, right? Yeah, right, Tim. That's the one you want. The one that say let us. You know what I'm talking about? Here it is, verse 26, right here. Read that. And God said, let us make man in our image. What did the Bible say? Let us make man in our image. So who was the us? Who was the us? Who was the us? This is verse 26. We read about the light. That was verse 3. Who was the us? You tell me. Who was the us? You shaking your head. Why are you shaking your head? You confused? You don't know? You don't know who the us is? Oh, you don't want to say it. Is that it? You don't want to say who it is? Who is the us, Tim? Let us know you understand who the us is. Who's the us? You still trying to figure it out? Wow. So you don't believe that it was Christ? Yeah, I know it was there. I understand that. You know what I mean? But, like, if, if it's the beginning, you know what I'm saying, and it was darkness, I'm still trying to figure out who was us. It's just like, it's like, Point two, eight, point, so point. I heard it was angels or the spirit. I don't know. I don't know. Right, you heard it was angels. That's, that's good. Remember what we read in 2nd Ezra chapter 2. He commanded the people. There were many spirits on the earth before man was created in the flesh. It was, I'll say it like this. There was many spirits in the heavens before man was created on the earth. There was many spirits in the heavens before man was created on the earth. Do you understand that? All right, so you're asking about very, very deep things. All right? You asked me about two questions. Very deep, right? Now I'm going to ask you one. All right? And it's not going to be deep. What's your nationality, according to the book? What's your nationality? Just period. What's your nationality? What nation do you come from? You say you're African-American, all right? Now, do you know what that means? When you say you're African American, okay, you say of course. Who, what, the term Africa, where does it come from? It comes from a, it comes from a, it comes from a so-called white man. That's where that term comes from. And his name was was was, was uh, Leo Scipius Africanus. You understand? That's a that's a that's a so-called white man. That continent is named after after him. All right, but my point is, it came from a so-called white man. You're not a white man. You understand? America came from Amerigo Vespucci. So when you say you're an American or African American, that's another so-called white man. So you're walking around here saying that I know who I am. I'm an African American. Those are two white men that you're calling yourself. That's not who you are. That's not who we be. That's what we're out here to teach, that you're not a so-called white man. You're not named after him. It's just like me walking around, and my name is Michael Johnson. You understand? And it's 20 more Johnsons that work at my job, and all of them look like the same people that put me into slavery. And I'm walking around saying, that I'm Michael Johnson. Deep. You understand? That that's not who I am. I can't be this. I can't. We can't be the same people. There's no way. How do we have the same names? You know how we got the same names? 
We got the same names during slavery. Oh, you understand? So when you walk around calling yourself an African American, you're really just embracing the name that was given to your people during slavery when they were conquered. That's not who you are. You understand? You're not an African American. You're an Israelite according to the Bible. Nation is family.